As we know, Natalie Mordovtseva and Mike Youngquist married and then separated. The drama never stops. But now that reports of their unlikely nuptials turned out to be true, what about the other rumor? It has long been whispered that they not only married, but had a baby. Is there an infant caught up in all of this mess? From the beginning of season 8, even before the premiere, 90 Day Fiancé was pushing Natalie's tearful breakup footage. She called Mike a monster and said that she could not forgive him for this breakup. Though the exact timing was initially unclear, they had clearly broken up, forcing her to fly home during COVID-19. Because TLC was pushing this so hard in multiple trailers, fans were immediately suspicious. There have been a couple of times when producers spent all season hyping a catfishing storyline where the woman was real. This felt like that, they wouldn't hand us this spoiler unless there was a twist. In the previews for this upcoming 90 Day Fiancé, episode 16 airing March 28th, we see that Natalie's exist plan doesn't go as planned. They arrived at hotel, only to find that hotel policy does not allow a check-in with someone else's card. Tamara and Natalie are forced to return to Mike's home, the last place that Natalie wanted to go. But spoilers have long said that fans' suspicions of a twist were true, that the two got married. There was a marriage certificate and a wedding announcement floating around the internet. Fans wondered if it was just paperwork obtained, or if the two actually got married. Only recently was it confirmed that yes, somehow, Mike and Natalie got married after Mike called off the wedding on the day off. It seems unthinkable that they could come back from that. Somehow they did, and Natalie married the man she had tearfully called a monster just hours earlier. But we also know that the two have separated. As it was reported earlier this week, it was none other than Uncle Bo who had told the world that the two have separated. Apparently, Natalie has not been home with Mike in a couple of months, and Bo hopes that it stays that way. But there was another rumor floating around for months alongside the rumor that they were married. Fan after fan insisted that they had heard that Natalie had given birth to Mike's baby. The assumption for a while was that it was the discovery of a pregnancy that pushed her and Mike to reconcile. So what is the truth? Uncle Bo spoke to In Touch Weekly, and he did more than just confirm that Natalie has been living in Seattle away from Mike. I really don't think she is pregnant, Bo shared alongside his hopes that Natalie and Mike never reconcile. So no, there is no baby Youngquist unless Uncle Bo is the extremely unlikely mastermind of a misinformation campaign. We can only guess that this rumor arose from a misunderstanding. Perhaps, for example, people confused spoilers for Natalie with that of another blonde woman from Ukraine. Yara Zeya and Jovi Dufran do have a baby, so maybe that is the point of confusion. Sometimes rumors do spring up out of nowhere, with even less explanation. It's been years, and we have yet to see one tiny piece of evidence supporting the claim that Azante Fo has a secret wife and kids, for example. Another fun tidbit coming out for this, it sounds like Natalie still has the ring. What happens to an engagement ring varies depending upon state laws, and in Washington, it's considered a conditional gift. If Mike and Natalie had not married, he could have legally forced her to return the ring. As it is, they did get married. That ring is hers. That's it for now, thank you for watching, please subscribe to stay tuned.